Hey, it's Trip here from the 87th. This video is about locating ground targets using bullseye coordinates in BMS 4.33. The information is current as of update 2. So I've developed a technique uh, that I like to use uh, to help me uh, easily and accurately, consistently locate uh, targets with bullseye information without any trouble at all. It doesn't require any math or any mental calculations. So I'll give you an example of uh, how it's used here. Let's say that we want to bomb a bridge uh, that's uh, been told to me uh, to be a bullseye position of 162 at 31 miles. So the 162 degree radial at 31 miles off of bullseye. So the first thing I do with that information is I take it down here to the HSD. So I go to the air to ground mode and the air to ground mode uh, defaults, uh, because I have Mavericks on it, defaults to uh, pre or pre designate uh, sub mode. And that's good. I want to see this uh, steering line here, this uh, indication here, this vertical line in the HUD. I can also get this line with the uh, bore. I cannot get it with the viz mode, so my technique doesn't work with viz because what I need to see is this white cross here, this white cursor. Okay, and you don't get that in the viz mode when you have Mavericks. If I'm carrying dumb bombs, uh, when I go to air to ground, I'll default to CCRP and I'll have this steering cue and I'll have my uh, white uh, cursor. If I'm in uh, CCIP or dive toss, I'm not going to have this cursor. I need to see this cursor. So those are the requirements uh, that you have this uh, steering cue. I need to be in the uh, ground mapping mode not TGP but the ground mapping mode I need to have the FCR as a sensor of interest now I come over here and I locate the bullseye uh, symbol it's this little blue concentric circle symbol now if it's more than what 240 miles I think is the max range on this HSD if it's more than that you're not going to uh, ever see it on the HSD so if that's the case when you're in the briefing screen ask the uh, TE maker if he'll move that uh, bullseye a little bit closer to the target area that you're going up to. Certainly not on the target because that would defeat the purpose of bullseye. But within 100 miles, I would say, of any direction from the target, it doesn't matter. Uh, just so that when you range out, you'll be able to see the bullseye symbol. Okay, so what I do now is I, I look at my aircraft heading and I round it to the nearest you know, 5 or 10 degrees, usually 10 degrees to make it convenient. So this would be 320. So I take that number and I come down to the uh, bullseye symbol. And if I take a straight line, a straight vertical line, uh, out of bullseye going to the top of the MFD, that line represents the 320 degree radial out of bullseye. So that's the 320 degree radial from bullseye. Now I'm going to go to the 162 at 31. Well, if this is 360, 90 degrees to the right must be 090. This must be 180, and then 270 is over here. So if this is 360, or correction, 320 rather, then this direction is 140. Now, I know if I go around the bullseye clockwise, then these radials will be increasing. So I'm basically going from south around this way to 270, and then back up to north and so forth. So if this is the 140, if I go a few more degrees in this direction, I'll come across the 162 degree radial. So let's do that. Let's uh, put the cursor in this general area. And there's 164. I hope you can read that. Um, if I go left or right a little bit more counterclockwise, I'll be decreasing the radial. So that's about 161. But I'm only at 8 DME. I need to be at 31. So anywhere along this line from here through this cursor and on out this direction, anywhere along that line is the 162 degree radial. All I need to do is move the cursor further out. So I go out a little bit here. And I go out, go out, go out. I may have to range out again. Yeah, let me just range out again. Okay. All right, there's 29, 30, there's 31, but I'm at the 167, so I need to go counterclockwise a little bit to get back to 162. That's pretty close. And there's 30, and I range out, and I get the 131. Yeah, pretty close. 163 at 31, that's good, good enough. 
All right, so that tells me that the target is behind me because I'm going this direction. The target's behind me. I need to make a uh, turn back to the uh, left. So the shorter direction would be toward the steering queue. So I start to turn back toward the uh, left to that target. Now, the, very conveniently, this uh, uh, cursor for the bullseye, it remains uh, in that same orientation, the bullseye. So all I have to do is turn the airplane so that the airplane's pointing at this uh, cross. Or another way to look at it is just keep turning until the steering queue lines up with the uh, flight path marker. Then I'll be looking right at the target. Now while we're turning, I can mention that uh, the target distance is 32 miles from us and decreasing since we're going right toward it. So we get that information here. Now it looks like it's going to be behind a hill. I'm going to start a climb here and hopefully we can uh, be able to look over the top of that hill. Alrighty, so I need to range out on the radar a bit to look for this target. It should be, it should be seeing something here once we get the looking over the top of that hill. Let's see what comes into view. Now I know this is a bridge, so I know what that looks like on the radar. Yep, there it is. You see that little dot right there? That is a bridge. Let me zoom in on it here a few times. DBS2, there's our bridge. I can lock that up, go over to the uh, TGP, and range out a little bit. There's my bridge. All right. So now I can make a mark point out of that or I can just go uh, bomb it directly from here. Uh, so that's the technique for using um, the uh, HSD for uh, locating targets. Let's do one more. Let's get, we'll go back to uh, nav and get rid of that CZ. And we're tooling along here and we get a call that uh, we have a target at uh, 289 at 18 miles. 289 for 18. So where is that? Alrighty. I got the bullseye in view on the HSD. I go to the nav, or correction, ground. I don't want the uh, TGP up on the left side. I want the ground mapping radar up. Alright. I see my cursor here. That's cool. I look at my heading. It's 140. So this is the 140 degree radial. I'm going to 290. Well, the opposite of 140 is 320, so out this way is 320. Okay, yeah, 320. So I want to go to about 190, so I know I need to go counterclockwise to get the radios decreasing. So I want to go over in this direction someplace. So if I put the uh, cursor over in this direction, I can get to approximately 190. Now I'm at 18 miles. Well, how about that? I fell right on top of it. That was a stroke of luck. All right. I turn the airplane uh, back around to the left here and just go toward the target and do the exact same thing. So the, the problem is solved. I found the target using uh, this technique in uh, bullseye coordinates. So everything after this, whether you make mark points out of the target or just go bomb it or whatever you do with it, it's uh, uh, extra. Alrighty. So let me just, uh, uh, before I go, just show you this one more thing here just to uh, prove this. If, um, if I'm on a heading of 085, which I am, and I put the pointing cross right at the top of bullseye and center it the best I can, then you can see that it's showing me on the, uh, the cursor, rather, on the 085 degree radial from bullseye. Now, if I go straight up, you notice that the, the uh, radial is not changing, but the DME is because I'm getting closer or further away from bullseye. Now it's on 085 up here. If I go directly below, then it goes to the reciprocal of 265 or thereabouts. Looks like it's off just a hair. Alrighty, so that is how I uh, use uh, the HSD for targeting with bullseye. I hope this helps and trip up.